With the ongoing drought, the Ministry of Economic Affairs is adding wells and desalination capacity to relieve low water levels at reservoirs across northern Taiwan. But now, just before the start of Taiwan's dry season, there is hope that tropical storm at Sani could deliver the needed relief. But its course remains uncertain, perhaps until Thursday. Two tropical storms are raging in Taiwan's vicinity. One is Typhoon Goni, the most powerful storm so far this year, which has already swept over Luzon Island in the Philippines. The other is Tropical Storm Atsani, which is stationary in the sea southeast of Taiwan. Atsani's future path remains unpredictable, with forecasters saying they will have to wait until Thursday to know if Taiwan might be affected. Thursday is the earliest that Tropical Storm Atsani will start moving. There is a higher probability that Tropical Storm Atsani will cross through the southern part of the Bashi Channel or over the northern Philippines. But if it angles more northward, we wouldn't rule out the possibility of it approaching Taiwan. Meanwhile, water rationing continues in Taoyuan, Xinzhu, and Miaoli. Taoyuan Shimen Reservoir is at around half capacity, while in Miaoli, Yonghe-shan Reservoir is below 50% and Mingde Reservoir at only 20%. The situation in Taoyuan, Xinzhu, and Miaoli is more dire, so irrigation has been halted there. Since irrigating stopped, water levels at Shimen Reservoir have bounced back a little bit. Emergency drought wells, desalination plants, and other such measures are still going ahead. The start of November marks the start of the dry season, which lasts for six months. As concerns grow over water reserves, the Ministry of Economic Affairs has launched emergency anti-drought measures. A lawmaker asked the Minister of Economic Affairs whether it was considering rebuilding the broken Baling Dam in Taoyuan. The Baling Dam has a capacity of 10 million tons of water. It could be very important to managing water supply. So are there any plans to rebuild Baling Dam? Maybe we will have to wait for the riverbed to stabilize before assessing it. Currently, we're not leaning towards building new reservoirs. We're heading more in the direction of water reclamation in underground streams, as well as adjusting water supply. The ministry did not deny reports that a planned 10 to 30 percent tax on firms that use more than 1,000 tons of water a month could go into effect by the start of next year. Meanwhile, the executive yuan is rolling out a 1.4 billion NT plan to combat the drought.